As we welcome you back to Memorial Stadium, ACC football today moves on, and it's time now for our management investment choose what fits feature. Senior quarterback Cullen Harper of Clemson is truly the right fit for the Tiger offense, the ACC preseason player of the year. Remember last year he was second team all conference. He does it the right way on and off the field. He has already graduated. Cullen Harper, what college athletics is certainly, certainly all about. And that's Cullen Harper and our management investment. Choose what fits feature. Colin Harper, without a doubt, a great kid. And when you get a chance to spend some time with Harper and his family, it's easy to see why this kid has turned out the way he is. And he certainly is the total package. This summer, we had a chance to spend some time with Colin Harper and his father. It's a great story. Stick around. You don't want to miss this one. All right, here we go. All right. Okay, what we get? Me and you about the same spot. No, I'm better. I was hoping they might be. <laughs> oh, man. Don't let the snake get you down no, there. No, there's no snakes over there. Take your time. Dang it, go. Where'd you go? I ain't hit yet. Oh. Might be in the sand. I think it'll be all right. Yeah, all right. We'll get better on the second hole. For any college quarterback, having a father to act as both a friend and mentor is a great gift. In the case of Clemson's Cullen Harper, having a dad who has been where he wants to go is of immeasurable value. Jeff Harper was a three-year starter as an offensive lineman for Vince Dooley's Georgia Bulldogs and a member of the 1980 Bulldog National Championship squad. I was there with a lot of good football players. Uh, Herschel Walker was there. Lindsey Scott was there. Buck Blue was there. Uh, we had a lot of guys on that team that were good football players. Had a great coach in Coach Dooley. Uh, disciplinarian. Uh, no uh, nonsense type guy. So. Uh, you know, that's what I took from him. Jeff is also linked to Dooley by one of the best known pictures of the coach. That picture was from uh, 1980, the year we beat Georgia Tech. And uh, I knew it was my last game as a senior, regular season game. And uh, Coach Dooley meant so much to me that, that I wanted to, to say I carried him off the field. Jeff used the lessons learned from the celebrated head bulldog in the molding of the athletic talents of young Cullen. You know, I, I started coaching Cullen uh, when he was young in baseball and AAU basketball and football. And uh, I rode him hard. And uh, I'm an offensive lineman. And I have an offensive line mentality. I got a little, you know, edge to me definitely helps you know my dad's been in the environment and the situation that I'm trying to get to and with him you know coming through a national championship type team uh, you know he, he's been there and he's done that he knows what it takes so he's constantly there reminding me and, and uh, just trying to give me advice on what it takes to get to that level. Cullen's relationship with his dad continues to be a stabilizing force for the Clemson quarterback as he deals with the mighty expectations for the Tigers in 2008. It is that pressure that makes him appreciate those times with his father all the more. There you go. There we go. Nice shot. You're a good bit ahead in front of me. That spawning's coming through. Yeah. That was a perfect shot. There you go. Good job. Four years has come and gone. It flew by. I was talking to Matt the other day about that. And, yeah. You know, it's hard to believe it's already here. But, you know, now I can focus on football. Yeah. You know, take some more classes this fall, but yeah. got one last season to really reach all my goals. Well, in, in the college level, yeah, you're right. In, In the college, college level. level. You're right. All right. Let's go hit the next one. All righty. Yeah, let's go hit the next one. That's certainly what it's all about. The next one on the schedule on the football field is NC State. We're back to wrap things up from Death Valley right after this.